Welcome to Top Solid Mold. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a custom backlock for the side action that was created in the previous video. From there, you will learn how to set the bill of material properties for your components. Next, we will show you how to add a standard angle pin to your action, and finally, we will show you how easy it is to modify the length of your angle pin so that it drives your side action correctly. Okay, from here it's time to make our backlock, don't you think? But before I do, I'm just going to do a couple of quick things here. Uh, I'm going to just do something called setting assignment, because here Top Solid Mold doesn't know that these three elements should be part of the B side. Now it does. I'm also going to hide some of the driving elements here. And we'll hit save once just for good measure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off that block, and I'm going to activate this coordinate system. And now from here I'm going to make my first coordinate system manually. Up until now, if you've watched all the previous videos, Top Solid has created all of the coordinate systems necessary for the creation of each of our elements of our mold design. But from here, I'm going to create one through YZ. And this is just because I'm creating, again, another 100% custom component. In that case, or in this case, it's going to be uh, the backlock. Now, we do have a backlock function, and again, you, to some extent, can use standards in cases like this, but in most cases, you're doing this custom for most of your designs anyway. So here, I'm going to create a new sketch, and let's go ahead, look straight at it, and we'll sketch this out real fast. So again, I'm going to start here, maybe go to there, we'll go up at an angle, maybe we'll go up to there, over, I want that to relate to that, perfect. And I'm going to start by adding a couple dimensions. Now, back here, I don't want this to get any closer than a sixteenth of an inch to the back of my gib there. And the bottom, again, I don't ever want to hit the bottom, so I'll do that. Um, here I'm going to add another relationship. I want this point coincident there. I would like this coincident here, and I'd like this coincident right there. And then finally, how about we go and add, we'll say, 20 degrees there. For now, we can always come back and modify it. And let's make this maybe inch and a quarter. Perfect. So now we have our profile. We can go ahead and extrude this profile. And now, you know, I forget how wide I made this. That's okay. I could actually come back to here and say two trims and say go to that face and go to that face. And now if I ever modify my slide curve, the width of the backlock will, of course, be modified as well. Now, from there, this is still pretty thin, so you know what? I'd like to add a little bit more beef to it, so I'm going to create one more quick sketch, and it'll be just like that. And again, I'm going to create a bunch of coincident relationships because I just want it to follow the nature of my existing backlock. And like this, we'll add this as a boss on one side. So I'm going to add a boss there. You know what? I want to add an extra half inch, we'll say. Looks good. That's perfect, and I'd like that on the other side as well, so I'm going to just make a quick pattern. We'll call it a simple mirror, about that plane. Perfect. And then finally, so that the sides here don't actually start rubbing on the gibs as they come down, maybe we'll add some draft to it, just for good measure. How about 5 degrees? And you could do what you want. You could just clear it linearly. I'm adding draft just, well, because I can. It'll be from this face here, and that's perfect. And one last thing, I'm going to go to Trim. We'll say by plane. I want to trim this by that angled face that we created, getting rid of that side. And again, everything's related to everything else. And of course, we can add our fillets up there and what have you. Now, from here, I would like to go and add this to my mold visualization, because again, it's 100% custom. So I'm just going to call this uh, BL1 for a short name, but it's my backlock. Okay. Um, I want to get the automatic stock sizes for it up to three decimal places. And like that, that is the stock size needed to manufacture that block. This is going to be an A-side component. It's part of our action, so I'm going to locate it in there. And you know what? This is a machined element. It's something that we're going to be manufacturing. And all this stuff just gives you the ability to create custom bill of materials and organize things in a way that makes manufacturing and documentation simpler. Um, you know what? We'll say it's out of aluminum, too, just for now. And we'll say OK. Now, one other thing that I'd like to do here really quick is I'd like to make that transparent and that transparent. Because the last thing I'm going to do to this design is I'm going to insert our angle pin, because you know won't work unless we have an angle pin in there that will move the slide as the mold opens. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So here we're going to add an angle pin. And it wants me to select the slide face, so I'm going to go ahead and select the slide face. And I'm going to say, you know what, I would like to constrain it between that edge and that edge. And I want to come from this edge maybe back three quarters of an inch. Oops, wrong way. And maybe I want this to be at 15 degrees as well. Inserted through here. And now for the first time, we're going to go into a... So, like that, you can see I'm in DME inch, and I'm going to look for, how about a 3 8 pin? Works for me. And it's just perfect. So there you can see the 3 8 pin has been inserted. But, you know what? You can see the 3 8 was the stroke that we had defined, right? But uh, the pin looks too long. Well, let's maybe take a look. I'm going to go ahead and look straight at this. And sure enough, you can see it's calculating from the tip here to the tip there. And 946 thousandths is basically the amount of travel the slide's going to go. Well, that's not right. Well, at least it's measuring from the right place, but let's take a closer look. Notice this pin is square at the end. Well, we don't want that. We want that to be rounded. So, actually, you know what? I don't even have to go in there. I can just select the edge and use the uh, neutral mode of top solid design here. And let's say we would like a fillet on there, just like that. And you can see it's now bounced to the tangent there. Well, let's also zoom up here, and you can see that there's a hole there, but again, that hole is size for size. Now, of course, when you insert the component, I can have it processed correctly and put the correct clearance in there. But I also want to show you that you can kind of play around, and the software just adapts to the way you're designing as well. So here, I'm going to go ahead and add clearance manually. And here I'd like, again, 31 thousandths per side on that face. And like that, you can see that driven point just bounced to the edge there. And again, we all like fillets, so let's go ahead and add clearance on the top and bottom of that drilling. And again, here you can see that driven point is now to the tangent. So like that, we've now modified our angle pin, our clearance hole through our slide. Now can we get the pin to the correct length? And this, I think, is one of the coolest features in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Modify Angle Pin and go ahead and select this. And here, in my dialog box, you can see that uh, this is the stroke we're looking for, right? Well, I can change the angle of pin to 7.41 degrees from 15 to keep the standard length pin. That's kind of silly. I can change the head length, or I can change the pin length from 5 inch standard to 3 inches 2276. Let's just do that. And now we can say OK. And like that, our angle pin's now ready to go, and our side action is complete. Thank you for watching this video to learn more about Top Solid Mold. Just to review, in this video, you learned how to create a completely custom backlock in a few short minutes. From there, you learned how to set the bill of material properties for your custom component. Next, you saw how easy it was to insert a standard angle pin. And finally, you saw how quickly and efficiently you can set your clearances and modify the length of your angle pin so that it correctly drives your side action. If you'd like to learn more about Top Solid Mold, please visit our website at www.clear-cut.com or call today to speak with a sales associate at 630-889-8055. Again, thank you for your interest in Top Solid Mold.